G'day, this is Stevie Baker coming to you live from Melbourne, Australia. I just want to do a quick video. I had a lot of people asking me how I live my dream lifestyle. So I really just wanted to share my journey and really my journey started a long time ago when I come out of high school and really had no aspirations of going to college, university. I was a terrible student. So I went into the workforce, which is what a lot of people do. I worked in a job at a timber mill, working basically nine to five, lifting logs, sorting logs, back-breaking work, um, you know, Monday to Friday, absolutely hating it. And you know, Friday would come along the best day of the week, I'd get my paycheck, and then I'd go out, spend it on the weekend, and then Monday, Groundhog Week again. So absolutely hated waking up on a Monday morning. And luckily for me, I got drafted to the AFL. It was actually like I'd won you know, Tats Lotto when the, uh, the coach of St Kilda Football Club rang me up and said, you know, we want you to play with us next year. And one of the best moments of my life. And then I really got used to living a, a great lifestyle. I had 12 years with St Kilda. I played 200 games. I was lucky enough to win a best and fairest. Lucky enough to play in three grand finals unlucky not to win one we um, lost two and drew one um, but you know, it was so good playing in front of a hundred hundreds of thousands of people and really just you know, the whole experience you know waking up excited about going to work waking up Monday mornings passionate about life getting to work getting to work with my best friends but this all come to a, a sudden halt when you know, my coach at the time I won't name names um, but tapped me on the shoulder and he took me into his office and said you know, Bakes, thanks for your 12 years, you're uh, best and fairest, and I know you're playing good footy at the moment, but next year we're restructuring, we're not going to go with you, and I thought he was joking at the time, because I was playing good football, and I was waiting for him to laugh, but then the realisation came in that he was serious, and I sat there stunned, and then I, I leant over, I shook his, I shook his hand, and you know, put the tough exterior on, that's why I played football, hard and tough, but I was absolutely crumbling inside. I you know, felt like I was going to cry. And, and then I got home that night. I was too embarrassed to tell my parents. I didn't tell my best friends. Um, but then it all hit me that you know, at the end of this football season, I had nothing to fall back on. So it's gone from a bit of embarrassment and thinking, oh, no, I've lost my uh, football career to, oh, my God, I've, you know, I've got to pay the mortgage. I've got bills, I've got bills coming in. So... I started looking into other options and I looked into a few different ones, investing. I didn't have a lot of money saved up. Um, I had a few mates buying pubs that, and a few, you know, a few had bought pubs in the past and had not done very well. You know, but a few of my other mates outside football were in network marketing and you know, luckily for me, they introduced me to the business. I looked into it. I was a bit skeptical at first, to be honest, but I looked into it and saw the caliber of people that were involved. So, you know, Bill Gates... Warren Buffett, Richard Branson, Tony Robbins. You know, some of my favorite entrepreneurs were involved in network marketing. And you know, I know these guys, you know, they get ahead of the trends. They know what's, they know what's a good thing. And you know, they knew that technology was changing the world and making it harder for people to get jobs, taking jobs away. But they also knew that technology is making this industry a breeze to build. You've still got to work hard to build something but you know, this link, I'm going to be recording a five or six minute link. I can click the button. I've got Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter. I can send this link anywhere in the world, email. So that's what was happening in the industry. So I really you know, trusted in that. And I had, I went to talk to my footy friends thinking, oh my God, I found something for us after football. They all laughed in my face. But I think I'd rather listen to a billionaire you know, than my mate that's only done you know, only done football um, for, a, for a job. Um so long story short, I, I dived headfirst into my first company. Um, I was able to come out of football after those six months into this industry, but really my first company had had a great product, but I, I really felt like I was on a treadmill. So I really, I teamed up with some of Australia's top entrepreneurs, multi-million dollar earners in this industry and went on the hunt for the next big company. And in that we mean you know, the next company that we could see hitting a billion dollars in annual sales. So we had a blueprint. We, we knew that 19 companies had hit the billion dollar mark in the history of network marketing. So we really used that as a roadmap to find the next big thing. And the next big thing we found was Jeunesse Global. And that was the only company, or is the only company that hit everything on that checklist. We had over 30 things on that checklist. And it was you know, some of them product genre, global expansion, leadership, um, own ownership, 
you know, the, the pay plan. So there was many things on that list and you know, Jeunesse was the only one that ticked, ticked those boxes. And I flew over, I met the owners and they said to me, Steve, we'll do things in network marketing that have never been achieved because you know, we're in this to make the world a better place. You know, they, they give back to charities, which I love. You know, I'm, um, I do a lot with charities, I fly the world, I'm thinking, because these two are in it for the right reason. It's a privately owned company. And they said to me, they'll never make a, a decision and they'll never, I'll never make a decision that's not for the distributor. We'll never have shareholders, we'll never have investors. Um, so that was enough for me. I, I dived headfirst in Jeunesse and you know, the last last couple of years have been a whirlwind of, of fun and, and freedom. You know, and Jeunesse has been the fastest company ever to turn over a billion dollars in the history of this industry. We're only six years young, so still a baby in network marketing terms. But what I've seen this company do, it's changing lives. And you know, I love my lifestyle, but you know, I love the fact that we're helping you know, countless first-timers in this industry you know, stay-at-home mums, single single mums, you know, you know, all the way to corporate professionals, lawyers, doctors. Um, you know, some of the stories we've had people being able to retire their husbands from night shift, move to Noosa. We've had people replace you know, their full-time income. And you know, it's taken a lot of hard work for these people, but now they're living you know, life on their terms. It's very special. So some of the testimonials that we have within our team are amazing. So if you want to hear more, you know, get back to the person that sent you this short video. I know there's probably a lot of other questions to be answered, but you know, within our team, we've got a turnkey system, which which means we plug in the system, we do everything for you. We've got um, online events, we've got meetings all over Australia and worldwide, and a lot of it, a lot of our meetings are done online now. So anyone can build this business. We've got you know, countless people with no experience. So get back to the person that invited, invited you. If you want to talk to me personally, please hit me up on my um, Facebook page, which is Stephen Baker 10, but love and life, and I would love you to love life even more. See you later. Now, I never know how to cut off this thing. My sister's setting up this technology. And she's not home. Now, let's.